A Russian oligarch's $300 million super yacht is sailing to America under the U.S. flag after being seized in the Pacific island of Fiji for over seven weeks. Suleiman Karimov's luxury yacht is heading towards the west coast of America after Fiji allowed the U.S. to seize the vessel. And we are off to the comments section. Let's see what the experts think. Seems America wants all these yachts. Why are they taking people personally property? Seems wrong on many levels. How many wars have the states been involved and did the other countries steal the private property of the mega wealthy that are US citizens? Grand theft, just stealing to be stealing with no repercussions. Grand theft yacht. Wonder, what would happen? If Russia seized, US owned yachts. Stealing from private businessmen, a new rule that might bite them back, in future depicting might is right. Private businessmen, are you mad? They stole this money from the Russian people. They are not businessmen. All these beautiful yachts are very expensive to maintain. Guess who is going to pay for these expenses? The taxpayers, of course. All crap and more crap. CRAP! While the US is busy stealing yachts, Russia is busy capturing territories that is more value than all yachts that have been stolen by the US. New World Order, in which the US has unmatched dominance and power over other countries, is functioning right before our eyes. How big a warped ego does it take to squander this much wealth on excess show and tell when so much of the world needs food, shelter and medical attention? WTF, the super rich are poor in value judgment. Most billionaires are failed human beings. Wrong. This is just a new name for piracy. It will backfire soon. Call it as it is, grand theft. I think what Russia is doing to Ukraine is unforgivable but I don't understand what give the US the right to take privately owned ships. Can someone seriously explain this? Could Iraq claim the US war was illegal and take Bill Gates' ship or plane? Since Biden is not expanding the US Navy, they'll repurpose these yachts for defense, hunter's retirement, services placed around for Taiwan's protection. Sanctions equals leftists doing what they do best. Stealing from someone else and proclaiming it to be a virtue. And you can bet they will send the army, navy, air force, and marines to protect Surash loot. I heard that the proceeds from these sanctions will go to helping Ukraine rebuild. Patty, no way. They go to fix the American economy, as it completely broke. Ha ha, plain thievery. Time for a US billionaire to grab a bargain. Exactly. Why is the USA seizing yachts? Is Nancy and crew now wanting free cruises? It's good to have that much money. I struggle on my pension. If they ever wanted to become pirates, Yar! this is their golden opportunity. He's probably gonna have dinner with Joe Biden when he gets here. So, who gets to play on the yacht? Who will take care of it? Who is paying for the fuel and the maintenance? The crew? Who is traveling on it right now? Is it an all-electric ship? Joe wants it for his retirement in November. Stealing and polishing theft to make it beautiful, US and allies knows best. Hey! That scratch wasn't there before. So is that what happens when you land on free parking in Monopoly, or? Converted to a public transportation unit. Captain Jack Sparrow. One again. This is the real piracy. The rich are fighting again. I agree with seizure of the yacht but cannot follow why the USA took it as it was in Fiji. Why did Fiji not seize it and just let it sit in harbor there? Why move it to the USA? LOL Cowboys Western Countries Fanboys vs Russian Chad Billionaire Yacht Enjoyers Need to seize all this expensive assets to compensate US for the cost of weapons sent to Ukraine What's your expert opinion? <laughs>